Hey guys, I uh, want to show off my cool new uh, master lock cutaway that I got. It's a model, it's supposed to be 77, but it says 7777 on it. Um, it's a, It seems to be a factory cutaway. I don't know how, you know, anyone could have done that that nice without taking it apart or at least showing it, but it's uh, got access so you can see the pins and the core, or, you know, and the, and the entire core, the locking pawls, or the, you know, the locking actuator, and then um, the cam interacting with that, and then the, the shackle spring here. And uh, I don't know if I can get a better shot with better lighting, but anyhow, came with the original key, and neat old master lock key made in the U.S., and number 7777. So it matches this one. Sorry, I'm working around this big. I had to kind of create my own uh, tripod here. So if I look awkward, it's because it is really awkward doing this. So I'll show you the key works. And uh, it still needs lubed. I haven't lubed it yet just because I don't want to. I'm just so awed by it. I don't want to mess with it. But anyway, key works. You put it in. I'll show you the mechanisms working there. There it goes. You see that actuator moving, the shackle spring moving, and all that stuff. So, really neat find. I got this off of Etsy, really cheap. Uh, and I think it's actually a pretty good find. So, um, so on, obviously, my quest then was to find more like it. And uh, I thought it would be more difficult than it was. But I think, uh, we're going to find out here in a few minutes, but I think that I found another one. And this is the other one that I found. It's a... Model 7777. Looks to be in a little bit rougher shape. And I'll show you why here. Um, yeah, there we go. 7777. And uh, same same front. It came with three keys. They're, they're uh, made keys, though. And I'll show you why that is, too. You can see the, the two side by side there. Uh, two made keys. Or it came with this one, the three, actually three made keys. Uh, you know, aftermarket keys, but anyway, you see 7777, it matches up there, and I'll show you why I got it, I think I got this one so cheap, because I was watching Masterlock Cutaways on eBay, and there's a, like an old number three, I don't know if it's a, it's not actually number three, it's just an old laminated padlock, but you can see here, uh, this is another reason I thought it was a uh, cutaway, because you can see here someone soldered a brass plate over what I think are the cutaways. And I think someone walked into a hardware store and said, Yanni Padlocks, the hardware store set owner said no. And he said, dang it, you know, I've got all this money and I, I can't find a padlock anywhere. So the hardware store went in the back and these were these were old sample, you know, um, Masterlock used to drop these off at places, you know, all the companies do for quote salesman samples so they can show everybody the technology and how they work and, and all that stuff. And so he must've went to work, soldered this on and said, here you go, here's a padlock, here's some keys. There you go, give me my money. And uh, that's how I'd like to think anyway. Probably is a completely different story than that. Uh, but anyway, that's that's what I think. So another reason, I'll get a focus here. Another reason I think that this is a cutaway is because they have the exact same bidding. Now this is a key that came with this lock. And I'll show you that. I mean, I know that's not drop dead evidence or whatever, but I'll lock this back up. And this is the key that came with the other lock, and it opens it. And this one actually has 2229 written on the key, which I think this is a original master lock key. And they just cut it to match it, but you can see it has been used <laughs> for a long time, but maybe they stamped it on there for some other reason. But anyway, you'll see here that this is the original key from my uh, cutaway with the 7777, and you'll see it fits in here. And it will open this lock too. So same bidding. So that's another thing. And I couldn't obviously tell that over the picture on eBay, but they look similar. I kind of held my key up there and they look similar. So now we're gonna do the big unveiling. Um we're gonna we're gonna heat up, and you can see this thing has been heated up. You can see that's not patina. I mean this has got the patina on it, whatever, but this one's got what I would call scale from being heated up. So I mean, it's obvious it was heated up because there's solder in there, and you, there's only one way to do that with a blowtorch. But anyhow, we're going to take this plate off and see what we got underneath here. Did I hit a home run, or did I strike out? So uh, I'm going to get this all set up in my vise, and uh, 
get out the blowtorch and we're gonna heat that up. We're gonna get that plate off of there and see if we got another factory cutaway, which would be very rare. So here we go. Okay, so I got the camera set up to a point where I don't think it's gonna melt the camera itself. And uh, we're gonna heat this up now with the old plumbing blowtorch. And uh, it's funny because I was, uh, I was, I've been watching YouTube videos and there's a guy named Lock, uh, Lock Picking Warrior. He's got a channel and uh, I'm going to put a link to this video, but he's been basically showing how easy master locks are to open with uh, using a blowtorch. So I thought it'd be funny or ironic if I would uh, make a video about actually making a master lock work <laughs> or, you know, making a master lock better with a blowtorch. So, uh, I'll put a link to his video in there. You gotta check those out, dude. He gets he gets into those things so fast and so easily with the blowtorch. So he uses big old 220s, so uh, they're huge padlocks, really intimidating looking, but they uh, they are look like little little puppies, uh, you know, uh, at, in his hands. So y'all check that out. But anyhow, uh, that was my little, my little I, I talked to him about it and uh, thought it was thought it was kind of funny. But. Anyway, uh, we're going to heat this up here, and we are going to get that solder melting, and then I got a little screwdriver here, I'm going to pry that, pry that bar off, or excuse me, that, that plate off, and I might just kind of heat it up in one spot, see if I can just get that thing up. Looks like, yep, looks like it's coming loose already, didn't take much, and uh, the, the thing I'm worried about is... Uh, is uh set this down here is getting solder in the cutaway parts and lo and behold we got a winner uh it is a cutaway so uh let's let's uh look at it a little bit better and maybe we can clean it up but i i thought it was but here i'll get you out here and show you with that plate gone you can see they they uh, soldered that plate over a perfectly good master lock cutaway. So um, now I got two. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty cool. Now they're less valuable, though, because there's more of them out there. So, uh, <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's, let's uh, let this cool off. We'll take a better look at it. All right, so here they are side by side. This guy's still a little hot. But uh, they're both factory cutaways. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that solder off, but I am going to work on getting that dang solder off of there and uh, probably cleaning this up a little bit. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess now i got two cutaways. Maybe I'll sell one. Maybe maybe I'll just keep them both. Who knows? Uh, but thank you very much for watching my video. Um, I want to give, like I said, I want to, I don't know if you could hear me very well in the last part, but I want to uh, um, give a big thanks to uh Lockpicking lawyer to uh, kind of give me this idea, um, and uh, and like I said, I'm you know I, I've said it before and I'll say it again I'm a sucker for master locks, and uh, and so I like I said when I saw when I saw his video I was like oh man that would be so cool to show uh, you know a master lock actually being you know repaired with a low torch instead of uh, destroyed so um, check out his videos I'll put links to him in the uh, the uh, 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 description. There we go. I had to think of the word there, but I'm really excited now. I got two of these. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and let me know if you got any questions, and have fun.